on the G.2.0 channel is two things. Two things that we hate more than anybody or anything else in the world. We hate lying ass niggas and we hate cheating ass. Now, of course, there's a whole bunch of other stuff in between, you know what I'm saying, that we hate too. Of course, we hate murderers, R words, you know what I'm saying, M words, you know what I'm saying. We hate a lot of people, but these two people make me sick to my stomach. That's why you see a lot of cheating ass, you know what I'm saying, reactions on here. And you see a lot of cat bad niggas on here, because we got to expose both of them for what they really is. Some fucking goofies. So, we finna go ahead and get into this video right now. I don't know what's going on. This is goddamn news doc. I don't know what's going on for us. A new goddamn channel I've been watching. I don't know what's going on. It's a new goddamn channel that one of my followers, one of my subscribers, one of my family members recommended to me because they got a lot of good um, cheating content. So let's see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I want to see how other races get down because right now, you know what I'm saying, with UDY is usually mostly black people. With Jack TV is usually mostly black people. I want to see how the Asians, the Caucasians, the Persuasions, you know what I'm saying? I want to see how they get down. So let's go ahead and get into it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new banging ass video. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, GuapBoyZ. And Twitter, GuapBoyZ. Whatever that is. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get straight into the video right now. Let's see what's going on. Turn on this morning or yesterday morning. I'm without a car. He's busy teaching life lessons. Who is this? Oh, man. I met my wife at a party in Brazil. Let's see that strike number one. We instantly damned it. I damn it. Just turn the video off. What do you mean you met your wife? At a sex party in Brazil. And you think she's going to stay loyal to you? First of all, first of all, first of all, you freaky as hell for going to Brazil and going to a sex party. Just saying, bro. We're supposed to go out there looking for wives. You went to a, you went to a brothel. Let's, let's just call it what it is. You went to a whorehouse and you ended up cuffing one of the whores. So now, you stuck with the repercussions of your actions. And it's time for you to face the life, bro. You cuffed the hoe. Now it's time to kick the hoe out. I've been out of work for like over two years. What the hell? Kind of supporting, you know, the, the family. She wants to work for Apple. That's her dream job. She kind of hinted that, that she would do anything to get the job. You See know, that? Jokingly saying that she would, would <clears throat> you know, with someone. See, 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 that's strike number two. You cuffed a hoe that you met at a whorehouse in Brazil. You flew her back to the States, got her a green card, changed her life, but you know, you was out of work for two years. That, now, it's really strike number two right there is being out of work for two years and expecting your girl to stay faithful. That's not happening. She is going to leave your ass, bro, because she's not trying to be the provider. She damn near wearing the pants. She, she got the dick. So you think that she going to do that and still willingly, you know what I'm saying, lay up with you, be feminine and do all that? No, you got to get on your grizzly, get some money on, and boss up. Because if you don't boss up, she's just going to treat you like shit. And the third strike really was, she said that she would have sex with somebody to work at Apple. Now, you can take that as a joke, but my wouldn't joke like that. So, I don't know what the hell you got going on, bro, but you need to check that hoe. Keep her ass on a leash. All right. She was saying it like in a joking manner. Yeah, kind of joking. She wasn't joking. Like the first time she said it, so. Saying, um, Told you. Cuff yeah, a hoe. I have. Man, well, see a hoe, cuff a hoe. That's what you did. Interview where we have a guy pretending to conduct an interview to hire Tina. Oh, yeah. See how she would behave and how oh, yeah. She would be willing to go to get <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this episode is so hilarious. Uh -huh. It's even more hilarious uh -huh. brand new app. The to catch a cheater app. Man, look, y'all smart as hell for making that app. I ain't gonna lie, you're smart. But <laughs> I don't mean too many people have done that, but I'm gonna tell you straight up right now. I ain't watching this goddamn promo way. Tina, uh, we don't really do that here. I'll, I'll, we bring it in for hugs. Oh. <laughs> so nice to meet you. Nice it's a pleasure. Yeah. Absolutely. Strike number one, she touching the nigga with some eye hugging. More pretty than your LinkedIn profile picture. Oh, uh, hell no. Nah. Wow. Wow, this is my Feel free to take off your jacket. It's uh, it's really hot out here. I would, okay. I would just say. I mean, I don't want you to be uncomfortable. I'm saying he already started off by saying, "Handshake, we gonna hug." At strike number one, then strike number two, he just said that you pretty as hell. Like he complimented you, talking about get comfortable, take your jacket off, you look pretty, and all this. And she going for it. It's supposed to be strictly business, baby. You're supposed to damn it get on there and be like, um, aren't you supposed to be professional? Like, are are, are you really just gonna give it up that easy just because he can hire you on the spot? These bosses must be getting more, you know what I'm saying, more play than I know from these secretaries, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, not at all. Good luck, too. Wow. You're not really hey, bite his fingernails. Um, I, I work really hard, though. You do work really hard? Yeah. Okay. 
perfect. So you yeah, apply I mean, for a job, going in for the job but like, that you're not qualified you for. I mean, like, do you go to the gym pretty often? Like, how, um, how often do you go to the gym? Yes, almost every day. Almost every day? Yeah. Wow. Let me get a better look at you. Here, come here. Come a little closer. Let me bring your chair over. I'll even help you. Here, there you go. You. Yeah, just right there for you. Uh, hey, can you just, like, stand up and just... Let's see oh, what hell no! Nah. you, like, uh, here. So let me just see. Hell no! Nah. Okay. Man, I, 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 he know you hurting right now. He know you hurting. That's why he's making these dumb ass faces. Okay, it'll work. It'll you know she's doing some hoe ass shit. Right back down the with me. You know yeah. she's doing hoe shit right now, bro. I like to get known very well. Yeah. Yeah, I doing bad jobs yeah, I mean, with the blurs. Really I already seen shoddy face, man. Skin, a little bit more like edgy. Might go after her next. Might hit my first snow bunny. You think that's possible as well? Oh, whoa, whoa! She ain't even, bro. I understand every girl ain't the girl that's gonna slap to somebody for playing with her and that's gonna turn up and be yelling and stuff. But it's all about self-respect. He just put your his hand on your thigh and looked at you, called you pretty, made you do a 360, hugged you, all type of shit. And you still sitting here just laughing at all, trying to... I would have left the ass, but I, I would have left the ass. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what's wrong, Mr. Asian Man right here. Mr. Asian Man needs to boss up. She might be the breadwinner. But that don't mean she can just do it, you know what I'm saying? So, what if she really goes through with it, bro? That means she been smashing dudes, and you you gotta get tested. Because everybody going in, huh? And, like, she can wear a condom. That's not what's going on. You seem nervous. Oh, it's just that I'm so excited for for this job, you yeah, know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I bet you is excited. I want to know. Are, are you excited you to do something else, ain't you? The job. Um, yes, yes. Like yes. you said, I work really hard. We ain't talking about working right now, baby. I want to make sure you're really prepared to do what it takes for this job. Uh, what it takes? Yeah, it's just a... <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> she giving that nervous laugh though. She does not like that, but still, stick up for yourself. Uh, what do you mean by um, do what it takes? You know what that means, baby. If you want this job, you're gonna have to do what it takes. Uh, See, so you being, you need. I really want the job. Tell her straight up. <laughs> she gonna have to. If you want this job, um, I'm gonna need a job from you. Uh, <laughs> um, what, what kind? He's holding your hand. What do you mean? You know. What I mean. You know. Oh. Um, Exactly what do you mean? You know what he means. I, I need a job from you. The man's stressed over there. Stressed. Do you mind it? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Are you talking about what I think you were talking about? It's only one thing I'm talking about, baby. 9 p.m. sharp. What else we gonna do? Uh, <laughs> we finna get it on. Um, finna get it on. I, I just, I just can't believe it. I know you can't believe it because it's too good to be true. I, I, I can believe it. Um, if you want to work with us, it's your dream job. I mean, Tina, you, you have such an amazing smile. Oh my God. Uh, excuse me? You want the job, right? Uh, uh, well, I ain't gonna lie, before this even go any further, <laughs> this is why, I, like, do you ladies like, I know ladies go through this shit more. Like, I, like, even if this shit is fake, bro, girls go through this shit all the time. So, I just want to know. Do y'all feel like, do y'all like, do y'all turn this down or do y'all actually do it? Because I think a lot, not a lot of girls, I would say like 40% of girls is probably smashing, you know what I'm saying, to get a good job. But is it worth your dignity? Is it, is it, is it worth your pride, baby? Because that's some thought ass shit. Yeah, I, I guess so. Okay. <laughs> they finna kiss? Yeah. They finna kiss? Oh! Whoa! Oh! I know. I mean, I guess. Yeah, she slapped him. I like that. He finna cry. This nigga's finna cry, bro. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm relieved. Um, she, she did. Cheat on a guy before in Brazil, and I, I guess now she's not. So people change. People. So 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 she cheated on you once, and you tried to do a loyalty test. That's why your ass was so scared because you knew. What I tell you, you see a hoe, you cuff a hoe. That's what this dumbass nigga did. So I don't. I, look, stop if you. <laughs> You can't turn a hoe into a housewife no matter what you do, no matter how much time you put into her. He just got lucky. You feel what I'm saying? She already smashed another guy in Brazil. She only jolly didn't do it with him because he didn't have no G with it. You know what I'm saying? Get a nigga with some swag and some G. She might have some PP in her mouth before the night over. You feel?